Welcome back everyone. In today's experiment, we're going to test the pH of different liquids that you have at home to see if they're acid, neutral, or alkaline. The really fun thing about today's experiment is you can make a pH indicator liquid with things that you have in your kitchen at home. All you need is a red cabbage, a blender, some distilled water, and some different liquids that you can test. For example, orange juice, or bleach, or cleaner, or soap, or shampoo, or toothpaste. So, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is get a red cabbage and chop off little sections of it. You'll end up with some pieces like this. It's actually surprisingly hard, so be careful with a knife, get a parent or a responsible adult to cut it for you, and then pop them inside the blender, like so. I've used about, well, roughly about a quarter of my red cabbage. It doesn't matter absolutely uh, exactly how much you use. Then get some distilled water. This is important because remember you're testing the pH. So if you use regular tap water, your tap water might have a pH that might be acidic or alkaline. So it's best to use distilled water so you don't have any chemical influence from the tap water from different minerals or substances dissolved in your water. If you can, get a responsible adult to heat up your distilled water. I've just brought this, this 400 milliliters of, of distilled tap water to boiling point. So carefully pour that into the blender. And then put on the lid. And very carefully turn it on. Well, that's some pretty blended cabbage. <laughs> Next, you have to filter the liquid out of this soup of chopped up cabbage pieces. So, you need a little filter paper and funnel and something to filter it in. And this can take a little bit of a time, so you have to be patient with this next step. Pour out some of the liquid into your funnel and then you just have to let it drain through. And you should be getting a purple liquid down at the bottom coming through. I've left my cabbage soup dripping away and filtering for the last 10 minutes or so. I've had to top it up a few times, but look how much liquid has slowly filtered through. You're now ready to remove the filter. Look at this wonderful purple liquid. This is the extract from the cabbage that we're going to use to look at the pH of different liquids at home. So then use a pipette, or you can just pour it out. I'm going to put in roughly 90 milliliters into each of these test tubes. It doesn't matter if it's absolutely the same or not. There we go. We're now ready to start our tests to see if there's differences in the pH of different liquids that you've got at home. You really can use any liquids that you like. I really recommend trying vinegar, Fruit juice, orange juice in particular, works really well. I'm also going to test some shampoo, some milk, and last but not least, some drain cleaner. Obviously, if you're using any potentially hazardous chemicals such as this, make sure you do so under the supervision of a responsible adult. The cabbage solution should turn red if the liquids are acidic or bluish if they're alkaline. Run your experiment at home and send in photos at classroom at darwin200.com for a chance to win three 50 pound Amazon gift voucher prizes. Join me in two weeks time to see the results of my testing of these five different liquids. Good luck and I hope your experiment goes well.